two to myself. Robinson DUP here, forgotten about me. I know it's been a long, 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 long time. Sorry, ladies and gents. I know it's been quite the cold streak before I've uh, recorded anything. Actually, you're probably going to see this way after the fact. Um, it's official. I am going to compete in bodybuilding again in 2018. The goal is May 12th. Competing pro in the NBF 5th year anniversary show. Um, all year I've kind of been playing with the idea of competing and last week I decided that uh, I'm going to go for it. So I've got a shorter prep than probably I'm used to doing. Last time I did 40 weeks. Um, so you're really in January, February, March, April and maybe like two weeks. So I'm looking at like 18 to 19 weeks to get ready. Um, usually, obviously, I always tell my clients, the longer the better, but whatever I bring to stage, I'm not going to stress out about. I'm just going to bring my best. The good thing is I'm sitting around 196 and a half, and I'm guessing 15 to 20 pounds should put me in the ballpark of where I need to be um, to bring a really great package to stage. Um, if it's not my best, it's not my best, because um, I'm potentially aiming for another show later on where I'm really going to try to dial it in. Um, so the main question is, am I coaching myself? The answer is no, I will never coach myself in a prep, but why Greg, you're a prep coach. You coach people to do this. Yes, you're right. Um, it's very easy for me to talk to my clients, keep them calm, have an unbiased eye and get them ready for stage. However, when dealing with someone like myself, who is extremely, um, gets into the details and puts a very high bar of expectation on himself, it's a mistake for me to go coach myself because I'm going to do something that I wouldn't have normally do and either, you know, not come in right, uh, come in, you know, screw up my, my, the day of carving up behind stage, um, go too hard, not go hard enough, start screwing with my training, end up injuring myself, whatever the case may be. So I am handing over my, myself to a coach. Um, I actually haven't known for a long time. It is not John. Um, nothing against John, great coach. I'm just trying somebody different. We have a lot in common. Both young guys, very, very hungry. Um, I think there's a lot of mutual respect there. I also think that we have a lot of the same ideas and concepts that we like to run, but I'm looking forward to see if he has anything new to teach me and maybe he can learn some things from my standpoint, especially with some of the injuries and wear and tear on my body of how we, how we need to work around it. His name is Andrew Pardue. He was a, um, he's been around the block for a while. I actually met him in the ANBF show uh, in Roanoke years back. Uh, I watched him start uh, doing his thesis on bodybuilding and the effect on it of, of these long preps, um, which is now published paper. He publishes articles for BioLang.com, IFYM.com, and several other um, websites. He has gone full-time coaching now, so this is his only business. And that who, has, who I've chosen um, to work with on this particular prep, I'm excited to work with him. He's very excited to work with me, and we're just going to get the ball rolling. So literally, I just got off the phone with him. We talked a little bit about what my expectations are, what I'm looking to do. I filled out a whole questionnaire for him so he understands my background, my current supplementation, what my macros are currently around. Even though I'm eating instinctively, I'll give him a ballpark calorically of where I'm at, uh, what my training style was slash is. Um, as you know, it's called Robinson DUP Bodybuilding, so I was doing daily undulating periodization for a long span of time. Over the past several months, though, just due to changes in um, some lifestyle choices, employment, things like that. Um, I didn't really do a strict daily undulating periodization. So I've gone more to a, I would say more like a push pull legs. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of the power type lifting where I'm doing heavy singles. I'm mainly focusing on either doing hypertrophy type rep ranges or strength rep ranges. 
So probably the lowest rep range I do right around now is about five reps total. Uh, I've been focused on just keeping my knees healthy, my hip healthy, my back healthy, um, and just trying to maximize gains, obviously. Um, trying to grow my legs, trying to grow my upper body. So the journey has begun. Today is officially December 26, 2017. Everything I'm eating today is going to be tracked from here on out. I'm going to know every calorie in, calorie out, and what my macro breakdown is to the T. Uh, I'm actually going to try to probably start off around 280 grams of carbs, about 210, 220 grams of protein, 60 ish grams of fat. Uh, I want to see how my weight does by the end of this week because, like I said, I'm 196 and a half. Um, hoping maybe I'll drop a pound, pound and a half by the end of this week. <sighs> Why did I agree to this? And the worst part is now, the one thing I'm going to have to do that I absolutely hate is cardio. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this journey. I'm actually going to um, work at times where I'm going to probably Skype with Andrew and record the conversations between us and, and post anything that he's comfortable with me putting up. Um, you know, we're going to talk about everything from training protocol to salt intake, to water intake, to macros, to cardio, to cardio, to cardio, <laughs> um, to, to whatever we feel the need to, to discuss. All right, guys, enjoy. This is going to be fun, I hope. Talk to you later.